Hi, I'm Joe from A Smarter Home Canada. I just wanted to start this video by saying that this has been one of the most useful items in my home, other than my wife. I've had a robot vacuum for a long time. I think they're great. I've had one of the original Roombas. I think I bought it for about $300 at Costco, and it was the type that just kind of bounced around the room. There was no mapping back then, and you had to turn it on manually. Just bounced around for a while till the battery went dead and it would find its way back to its dock and that was about it. A couple of years after that, I got myself a D-Bot and it worked okay. D-Bot just was kind of coming into the market at that time. Software wasn't that good, but it did connect up to the smart home and I could tell Google to go release the Kraken and it would go do its cleaning thing. Then when I bought this house, I decided it was time to upgrade once again. So I got this shark vacuum. It's self-emptying. The map was eh, pretty decent. I could choose what rooms I wanted it to clean. And it did have a nice pattern that it wouldn't be missing spots and just randomly bumping around like the previous two robots did. Now I have been thinking about upgrading my robot vacuum for the last couple of months. I was doing a little bit of research trying to decide which one to go for. I was kind of leaning heavily towards the Roborox. And in all honesty, they're kind of expensive. I never thought I would be paying the asking price of $18.99 for a robot vacuum. Then I was on Amazon a few days ago. The vacuum I was looking at was down to $999 Canadian, and that kind of put it in to more of the price range I'd be willing to go for a fully automated, mopping, self-cleaning vacuum. So I got it. And that robot vacuum I decided to purchase was the Roborock QRevo Max V. It seemed to have all the features that I wanted, and that price was unbelievable. So stick around where I get this thing out of the box, set it up, put it through some paces, test it out, and see if it is as good as they really say. As you can see, the box is quite large, so there's no way I could do this on my table, so I had to Fred Penner myself through a log to another part of my house to be able to take this apart. So uh, let's get this unboxed. My knife just broke. Back in a second. And inside the box, we've got another box. Now this box is fairly sturdy, so I don't know why they shipped it in a different one. Putting the second box right on top, we've got a quick start guide. Looks like part of the stand. Mopping pads. Safety guide. One hesitation I did have by buying this type is the dustbin, you do have to buy new ones. I'm not a big fan of buying something that I have to buy replacement parts for all the time. It's kind of been something in the vacuum industry for ages. I guess that's just the system that they decided to go for. Power cord. The main vacuum. Now I gotta say, it's heavier than I thought it would be. Seems like really solid construction. And underneath the second layer, we have the docking station. And this as well. Quite heavy, seems like really solid construction. And that's everything we've got in the box. To finish setting up the robot vacuum, a few things you've got to do. Take off the packaging. Underneath the flap, you've got your bin. Now the bin, to me, does seem rather small. But since it is self-emptying, that shouldn't really be a problem. At the front of the vacuum, you have to peel this off to expose 
the AI camera. Seems like everything is getting AI nowadays. Howdy doodly do! How's it going? I'm Tucky! Tucky Toaster, your chirpy breakfast companion. Tucky's the name, toasting's the game. You've got your power button and what looks like to be a docking button. Your radar unit here. And on the back, your charging ports and your vent for emptying. Flipping it over, we see two-wheel system. Your brush. And then your mop attachments back here. The mops look exactly the same, so I'm pretty sure there's not a left and a right one. Let's install those. The mops are held on by Velcro, which is not a Canadian invention as we learned last time. You also have your drop sensors. There seems to be one, two, one, two three, four, five drop sensors. Screw this side back here, I guess. And now the robot vacuum part of this is ready to go. It's time to assemble the dock. Mmm, new plastic smell. Just going by the symbols on the top, this looks to be your clean water bin. And this one, your dirty water bin. The removable front plate gives you access to the vacuum bag, which one comes pre-installed. And then underneath, this is your mopping tray. Pretty heavy duty power cord here, and it just plugs into the back of the base unit. And there you have it, the Roborock QRevo Max V is now set up and ready to get plugged in. Adding the Roborock to your home network is super simple. Just like anything else nowadays with smart home, it's just pretty much click, 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 and you're done. Just go to the app store, get the official Roborock app, scan the QR code when it asks you, It'll instruct you to press the home and power buttons together and that's going to reset the Wi-Fi. Wi and from there you just connect to your home's Wi-Fi and the device is now ready to use in the app. And as you can see, it's already started mapping. That's going to be the next step. For the mapping process, what I did beforehand was just went around the house, cleaned a few things up, cleaned up all the areas, made sure the uh, all obstacles were out of the way. I took the dining room chairs, put them up on the table, and then all that was left was to make myself a Caesar, press the map button, and the Max V went out and started to explore the great unknown. Coming through. Excuse me. Sorry. Searching. While the Max-V was out mapping the house, I took the time to fill up the water tank. One thing that is not included but recommended with this device is a cleaning solution. Doing a bit of research, it turns out that the only approved cleaner to use with a Roborock is Omo. And this is actually by Roborock. If you use something else, it could potentially void the Roborock warranty. Uh, that's how they get you. Yep, that's how they get you. <laughs> I measured the tank size for the Max V and it comes in at about three and a half liters approximately. The cleaning solution suggests using one third of a capsule per liter of water, so a full cap in the tank should be right about where you need it to be. Now let's see how that map came out. Now one great thing I saw was that the Roborock actually can detect 
what type of flooring that it's on and while it was mapping it pretty much if this was carpet it would label it as carpet if it was tile it labeled it as tile if it was hardwood or laminate it labeled it as that it even marked the bath mat as carpet and the mat we have in front of our kitchen sink as carpet as well on its first pass Although it did map out all the different flooring types, it did not separate anything in the room. So you do have to go back into the app and manually adjust each room to how you want it. So I, in my house, I split the main area up into the living room, dining room, and kitchen. I separated all the bedrooms from the hallway, separated the master bath from the master bedroom, and went on from there. Hi, I'm Joe and I'm just jumping into the video here to let you know that I'm going to be splitting this video into two parts. You've already been watching for over 11 minutes and I really appreciate that. But this video is probably going to go on for another 15 minutes of just straight testing and I know that's a long time to sit through. Plus, it's a lot to edit. So what I've decided to do is break this into the two videos. I'm going to shoot some more footage. I uh, do some more testing and give a full honest review of this product at the end and uh, I've got a few fun things planned out so I hope you do stick around and catch the next video. It should be out hopefully in about a week. That should give me enough time to put this thing through its paces. And once again I want to thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, great. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, click on the beaver when he shows up. If you didn't like the video, I don't care. I'm just an old Canadian guy in his new Canadian home trying to make it a little bit smarter and having some fun while doing it. Thanks for watching.